This collection of jewels dates to nearly 500 years ago. It really is an old Maharaja's treasure. This goes back to Mughal India. This was the most important dynasty that ruled the country. Sapphires, rubies, objects that are jeweled beyond belief, and some of the most amazing swords and daggers. Many of these jewels and objects were used by the noble and royal families of India. You can clearly see jewels that were inspired by Indian architecture, by Indian gems, by Indian jewels. And you now have the best of both. And this was a great meeting of minds and a culturally significant moment. One of the greatest examples of the fusion of East and West was with the Maharaja of Patiala, one of Cartier's greatest clients. And he would supply Cartier with trunks of jewels and stones and gems, and they made the most beautiful extravagant creations for him. One of them is a ruby bead choker, which is beautifully worn by the Maharani of Patiala. These pocket watches are very interesting. You will see that they've all been hand-painted with the Maharaja who commissioned the pocket watches. Here you see the Maharaja of Patiala with all of his pearls and his sarpech. And here you can see they actually inlaid a necklace for the Maharaja, a ruby and diamond necklace. The Mughal rulers had a great fascination for falconry. You will see that many of these important jewel birds and falcons were part of Mughal treasures. And the collection has one very important green enamel diamond bird, and you can see there's an emerald bead hanging from its beak. It's absolutely fabulous. This is the Nizam diamond necklace. Nizam for the Nizam of Hyderabad, who in his time was one of, if not the richest men in the world. This is a necklace that the Nizam wore, and it comprises over 100 carats of diamonds. This amazing natural pearl necklace by Cartier. Cartier used to actually travel to India and to the Middle East to buy natural pearls. That was the source. And here you have this pearl necklace with an incredible graduation of size, going down to almost 12 millimeters. I love the diamonds in the collection because I love diamonds. This is a 52 carat D-color flawless diamond, as pure as can be. And it originates from the Golconda mines, the earliest diamond mine known to man. There was so much fusion between the Maharajas and the big houses in Paris and London, where they were recreating jewels, recreating old spinels and old jade amulets and emerald beads and diamonds into deco jewels. Given the size of the collection, 400 lots, the quality of the workmanship, the influence of East and West, this is living history in your hands.